up guys welcome back to the channel it's been a long cold winter so we decided to head back down south of the border to Mexico our favorite place to film for a small tire cash days $320 buy-in close to 20 cars tonight we've seen a lot of familiar faces showing up here but some new cars as well so we're gonna show you a few cars before we get to racing hit the drivers meeting got the buy-in chip draw and then hit the streets it's been a while since we've seen the love on the street and from what I understand it's been a while since it's been on the street yeah. what is what what's the setup on the love what's new on it what are we looking at right now. Still a small bulk, which is LS. It's a little bit bigger cubic inches, and now we're dry nitrous CFI setup. So gotcha. We changed all that, now we're on Holly. You were carbureted, what, last year, year before? So it's been, we've been yeah. on uh, the EFI setup for about a year and a half. Okay. As long as it's a decent street, I think we can do really well. I mean, we really don't even need a decent street. Let's just see where we're going and see what I need to do as far as tune ups and then see how it handles. But I think it'd be good. All right, man. It's always done well. Well, I'm excited to see the love out. Hey, I'm excited to see y'all here. Yeah, yes. I saw a pull. I was like, I only know of one silver love. Every other silver love, is that's a fake love. <laughs> that's so. just not the real that's one. Not the, that's not the real one. This so this is, is the, the real one right this here. This is the real OG love. I love it when people bring out a Mustang that isn't a Fox body. Yeah. So I love seeing an <laughs> SN or a Coyote, something that's not a Fox body. I Enjoy it. What is the setup on the SN? What are we looking at here? Um, it is a LS uh, twin turbo, uh, methanol, uh, two speed 400, and small tire. Is it kind of a grudge car? Or do you want to tell me some power? How much power does it make? Last time it made like 13, 1379, and then we changed turbos and stuff. Gotcha. And put it on M1 and put it, changed fuel pump and everything else, so I don't know where it's at right now. What's the goal tonight? Do you just want to go around? Do you want to be competitive? Do you want to go rounds, man? Okay. Get past the first round. Get past that first round jitter. Oh yeah. Past the first <laughs> round, only all, half the guys are gone. So that's exactly. that's the biggest struggle right there. Exactly. Well, I love seeing the car out. Thanks Appreciate for bringing it, and uh, good luck tonight, man. Thanks, man. Hell yeah. Okay, it's going to be one burnout, pimp juice only. Okay, no water burnouts. Five second staging. When you're brought in and you're stopped, if you're a turbo guy and it takes you forever, and he's bringing you in. Maybe you should think, hey, I may need to start spooling a little bit before he brings you in. You got five seconds. He's going to bring you in. Five seconds, you're locked. Five seconds, you're locked. We're going to bang the light. After you're done making your hit, there's going to be a cone down on the left-hand side. There's a little side road that brings you right back to your trailer. Do not turn back around on the road and come back. No spraying your lane. I know we've got some out-of-town guys. Nobody bringing out the, the damn bug sprayers and spraying down the lanes. A racer bring a mother bottle and a full filling station to a street race, but that's pretty awesome. Here we go, cars are heading up the starting line. It's time for first round. Problem, so it's going to be a buy run for the Fox body first round. Security is reporting cops, that's why we're quietly leaving. Maybe not, hang on. Yeah, we're good. It looks like it's a false alarm, no cop.
close was that race? It looked real close from the starting line. Yeah, it was real close. It was real close. I mean, we were door to door the whole way. No I shit. just maybe nosed him out by a fender, maybe. You have traction, or was it you had to pedal uh, a little bit? I mean, it, I didn't, I didn't pedal it, but I could feel it spinning out of the hole. But I mean, once, once it got rolling, I mean, it was, it was good. Yeah. Nice. Love the close ones. Yeah. Good race, fun. man. That was a fun. Thank we'll you. see you in the second round. again. <laughs> so apparently one of the cars that's I believe it's a brown fox body. Somebody said the tire looks a little too big. I believe they were going to go measure, actually measure the tire to see if it's legal for this race because a lot of people thought it wasn't. So, see how that turns out. Best one and a half, 10.5, W. 
Yeah. And measure is 11.5. Is W allowed in your class? Is W allowed in your rules? No W's. In the rules, they don't it say, say anything about, about tire, tire size. The rules. If you want to get and the nothing was said in the driver's meeting about a tire either. It's non W. It's, it's, it's always been my deal. Non W no matter what. Time out. But Here's non W measures it, but it, it, if, if it wasn't illegal, why did we scrape the W? Yeah. Apparently, the Fifty Shades of Brown is a 10.5 W. Ryan Mitchell's is a non W, but it's the same width, supposedly, because it's a Hoosier. And if they measure the same, they're probably gonna let both of them be legit. I don't know. It can never be simple. 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter? Yeah. Wow, it was 11 and a half. Wow. 11 and a half over there. Weird, the W's bigger. So official word is, there was nothing in the rules specifically about whether W's or non-W's were in the rules. Limpy, the grandfather of cash days, who basically started everything here in the U.S., says that his rules have always been no W. The person putting on the race is actually sponsoring the car that's in question, so he's being as fair as he can, siding with Limpy, and the car is out, and the Firebird moves on to the second round. So, have you ever been part of something like that? No, and I hate to even be a part of something like that, but I mean, rules are rules, and it is what it is. So, so the deal was, it's, it's a 28, 10, 5 is the limit. It's a 29 and a half, 10, 5. Oh, 29. 29 and a half, 10, 5 is the limit, and it was a 29 and a half, 10, 5 W. Gotcha. So they measured his tire, they measured my tire. My tire is narrower, so the W, the non-W is narrower than the W. Right. I don't think, when's the last time we saw you? New Orleans? Probably. And I feel like the setup's a little different than it used to be. Yeah, the turbos are in a new yeah. location. New location, and I don't know what it was, but when you did a burnout, it sounded different. Yeah, so I did a try y header, so I made it uh, the opposite firing firing order of cylinders on each bank, and uh, it sped up the velocity in the header. I've never seen anybody do a try y turbo header. You see it on like GTOs and stuff, and G8s, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna try it. it makes you just, sense. just experiment? Just yeah, just try it. See if it does anything? Yeah, it's increased spool, and it's made more horsepower per pound of boost, and nice. it's just different. Nice. So, so you said your second pair tomorrow? Or second pair? Second, second pair down to nine. So, what are you going to Black S95. Yeah, okay, so okay. So, really clean. Right. Good luck, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Cars are getting unloaded and we're getting ready for second round. We have nine cars left. I believe the love truck is out because he's broken. And we have three complete pairs and two buys in the second round.
How close was that race down there? Because was it? Yeah. Because from from our from our perspective, I couldn't tell at all. Yeah, I don't even say it. about a car now. Gotcha, gotcha. How's how's? The I mean, it was dude. It was side by side the whole way, and I was like, okay, okay, all right. Okay. You got a button on it? Yeah, I, now I'm turning on the second kit, and now I got the third kit on the button. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. How's how's the truck feeling? How's the road out there? Beautiful. Road's good. Yeah, it's beautiful. You own racing the blue truck? Yep. What's the setup on the Camaro here? It's just a nitrous 408 and then one kit. Nothing special. Does the job. I mean, it. so far. <laughs> so far. Is this your little brother helping you out? Or? No, that's my son. Oh, your son, sorry. Yeah. But he's in there doing the dirty work. Yeah, he's doing the dirty work. I don't want to get back to the damn little ass back seat. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Good luck, man. Appreciate it. We'll see you up there. It's one thing to take your kid to a race. It's another thing when your kid is so excited that he helps you out. That's cool as hell. Kid's in the back seat, heating up the nitrous bottle so his dad can make the next pass. That's pretty cool. So you had to throw the parachute, huh? Yeah, I had to. We've been going back and forth <laughs> on Facebook for a while. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. What's the combo in here? Uh, it's, it's actually a, it's an LS, a stock block LS. It's a carbureted LS. Small cubic inch. A lot of nitrous? No. Probably on 250 okay. right now. Seems to be the norm in the parking lot right now. Yeah. We, we want to hit it with more, but we didn't want to do too much on the yeah. first night out with it. So. Yeah. All right. Five cars going into the third round. We've got the Pornhub Orange Camaro going up against the Fox Body. Then we have another F Body going up against the Blue S10. And then Casey Max with the Firebird drew the buy this round. Last round he had a buy. His competitor broke. So he didn't have to work too hard the last two rounds. Let's see how first pair goes. We only got five cars left. came from New Mexico and is laying it down. Just keeps doing A to B passes. How'd that last pass feel? Fast. It looked fast. That was good. Yeah. It <laughs> felt great. It's because of this man right here. Yeah. Oh, he's over here working right now. Remote tuning at its finest. For anyone back home that isn't familiar with remote tuning, you uh, hotspot to your laptop, you can have somebody tune from anywhere in the world. They review your logs, you tell them how it felt, how the road's doing, who you're racing next, if you got to crank it up, if you can risk turning it down. And then they do it from, they could literally be tuning from Australia and you're sitting here street racing in the Midwest. Cars are rolling up the starting line. We got Casey Max in the New Mexico Blue S10 in the semifinal. See who wins this one. Racing in the final against the Fox Body. So unfortunately, the Blue S10's battery is dead, and normally we just jump it, but it's a 16 volt system, so you can't just bring a car over here with jumper cables or a jump box. They're gonna try putting a 12 volt battery in here. <laughs> they just pulled one out of a truck. They're gonna see if it works, but I don't have my hopes very high. Apparently the charger wasn't working or not connected correctly or something uh, in the last half hour or so. Crossing our fingers, I really wanna see this race because two really fast cars. <sighs> this is painful. So it's been about 10 minutes since the truck couldn't start. Typically you have about five in competition. KC Max has decided they're gonna make their pass. 
go on to the next round, which means they're going to race the Fox Body here in the final. Not how we want to see it go down, unfortunately. That's just the way it goes. See the dew underneath the car. Uh -huh. You can see the dew. Well, Limpy says your shit's fast. That was fast. It's fast. <laughs> All right, six o'clock in the morning. Got the final pair rolling up. It's been a really weird, really long night. Hopefully, we're gonna see a race right now. The the moisture's been sprinkling more and more, but the road's still dry. Thank God. I just want to see one more race, <laughs> and we got five thousand some dollars up for grab right now. 80-20 split. Let's see who takes it home. Firebird taking home the win and his first win of the night, <laughs> technically throwing the parachute. He is very happy for that win. It's been one hell of a night. It's been it's been a really weird night, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so glad it's over. <laughs> These guys are gonna be taking home, splitting 80-20 over $5,000. That's it for this Cash Days here. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends who like street racing, and we'll see you guys next time.